Welcome folks, thanks for coming by, I am Dave. So you can't figure out what to sell on eBay? If you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload new content. I find all kinds of everyday items that I sell on eBay to make ends meet. Sometimes for great money, sometimes not so much. These are all items you can find every day. Items that are inexpensive and usually pretty sought after. And so, this is what sold this week on eBay. So here we go. I'll warn you now, it's going to be a bit of a long one. We sold quite a lot of stuff here the very last week here of December 2020. And the first thing you can see that we sold was this uh, this uh, village ex accessory for the, the Christmas village. It's a reindeer. Actually, we sold two of these. I believe it was uh, one of those. And then let me just check here the next one. No, the next one's a, 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 a snowman. So, yeah, these must uh, must have sold separately. And they sold for, uh, let's see, well, I paid a buck, a buck and a half for them and, uh, for, for uh, each one of those. And I listed them both on September 27th, and they sold December 22nd. So, uh, no, no way they were going to get them for Christmas, obviously, especially with the delays that we had. But uh, they did get there, and... Uh, that was great. So, and they both sold for ten ninety nine each plus shipping. So, always a huge bonus, right there. Next, all right, Fire King, just just a plain uh, old Fire King coffee mug. You'll notice the the bottom of them, the way the bottom of them are designed. They're designed to be stacked inside one another in your uh, in your in your cabinet, and that's pretty cool because yeah, I could do that today if I if I had more of these things. But yeah, they yeah they stack up inside your cabinet. So anyway, yeah. So I paid seventy nine cents for this at the, I believe at the Goodwill, and uh, I listed it May sixth, twenty twenty, and we sold it December twenty second for ten ninety nine plus shipping. Next, and this is just a, a disc out of a Pampered Chef uh, cookie press, and I paid seventeen cents for I you know that's and uh, let's see. But it was listed. I listed it July twenty or July thirty first, two thousand nineteen. So it was over a year, a year and a half before it sold on December eighteenth for a dollar ninety nine. But I've been selling those discs all along and parts out of that out of that kit all along. So uh, not that big a deal. And that was plus shipping as well. So next, so a set of four condiment serving bowls. They were just little guys. They were you know, like like just over two and a half inches. Uh, by two and a half inches, so they were just little, and uh, I, paid, I believe I got these at the Goodwill as well. I paid I paid three ninety six for these actually. And actually, I, I bought these and I bought some uh, larger cereal bowls of the same pattern, but I did not notice the utensil marking in the cereal bowls, which was pretty heavy, and so I, those actually did not end up getting listed. So, but these made up for for both of them for all the ones that. I bought that I didn't pay for, but these these were three ninety six, and I listed them. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, these were yeah, Pampered Chef. Okay, yeah, I listed them December fifteenth, and they sold on the twenty second for fifteen dollars plus shipping. So, all right, here we go. Uh, VC Andrews. This was another book that came out of that out of a bag bag lot that I bought for five dollars, and I only I only got a dollar for it, and I actually I paid fifty cents when I lotted all these things out. I only got a dollar for this one. It's it's kind of a I guess it's kind of a, a, a sought after title title, but unfortunately mine had uh, some damage. There was some there was a couple pages that were missed not missing. They were loose. And so I didn't, I didn't want to sell it at a higher price with someone possibly thinking that they might have been buying something. Hopefully they saw it was a buck and they thought to themselves, why is it so cheap? And they checked the description and uh, they didn't come back and they didn't complain and I got good feedback on it. So uh, no issues there, but it sold for a dollar and uh, you know, you got to hope that something like that, a dollar plus shipping, something like that just, uh, just draws traffic is what you got to hope for. So anyway, yeah, and that took, uh, I, I listed it on the on December 9th, and it sold the 23rd, so, next. There we go, and another one of these Christmas lights, again, I paid a buck fifty for this, for this, 
and the numbers are pretty much the same. It sold uh, for ten ninety nine. Next, so Bacardi, Bacardi rum, uh, I guess cocktail glass. Uh, looked like a football. All right, well, that was cool though. Uh, I, I let's see, I paid sixty cents for this. I listed it August twenty seventh. And it sold December 23rd for eight bucks. Eight bucks plus shipping. That took a long time to get delivered. Uh, next, but it did get delivered. Pretty much everything, everything that I sold got delivered during the, the downtime that we had when the post office was very slow and, and everything. Everything did eventually get delivered. Yeah. Yep. So, all right. Now, this was uh, just part of a food processor that I parted out. Let's see, uh, GE, I paid 40 cents. I paid more for the whole food processor, but once I broke it down, that's that's what the each piece cost. So, yeah, I don't need to keep saying that. August 27th is when I listed it, and it sold on the 23rd for 10.99 plus shipping for this piece. Next. And it's a little owl. He's about an inch high, if that. Just a little, just a little owl, plastic owl I got in a bunch of toy stuff. Sometime I don't remember now, but uh, seven cents I paid for that guy. Listed him September fifteenth, two thousand nineteen. So over a year, sold December twenty third for three bucks, two ninety five plus shipping. Next, Rose Petal Place. I'm not familiar with these dolls at all, but I did happen to find them. So uh, I paid 50 cents for the pay. They were a quarter piece at the one thrift store I go to. And uh, so I listed them June 22nd. They sold December 23rd for $10.99 plus shipping. So that, that's cool. I'll do that. That works for me. Next. I, I, I love it when I sell something for 50 cents and it, and it sells for 10 bucks. I, I just do. I know, you know, I, I know, I know they'd be better if it was selling for 20 or 30, but it's not the way it works for me, so that's and that's fine. I'm more than happy to do it this way. Uh, vintage Othello game. This is just an old travel edition that I got a goodwill for 99 cents. I listed it October 26th, and it sold December 24th for 15.99 plus shipping. Next, and a couple of these little uh, just they're just ruffled edged. Um, what do you call them? Uh, candle cup holder thing thing or bobs <laughs> home interiors i guess made these and uh there's two of them i paid a buck for the pair listed them july 17th they sold december 24th for 10.99 10.99 must be a thing it must come up it must automatically populate when i'm doing my listings or something so but yeah so it was 10.99 plus shipping so i'm good that's cool that was a good deal next all right this uh Oh, it's plastic. Uh, it's a. Uh, oh, what do you want to call it? It's a. Uh, a red water reservoir for a coffee for a coffee maker. That's it. That's the ticket. Uh, and that says I didn't pay anything for it. I listed it. June twenty fifth. It sold December twenty fourth for nine dollars. Nine dollars plus shipping. Yep. Not, yep. I didn't. I didn't get the ten ninety nine. Oh well. Next. Another pair of these. Uh, again, I paid a buck for these as well. Same numbers, pretty much, and yeah, all the same numbers on that. Sold for eleven dollars plus shipping. Next, these are cool. These are really cool. I did find some more at the Goodwill the other day of these, but they were dishwasher damaged, and uh, so they're still there. Last I checked, anyway. Um, anyway, these are uh, aquamarine. They are anchor hawking Milano. Some might call them teal. We included both of those in there because uh, color. I, I could just say blue, <laughs> but anyway, I paid two thirty-seven for the lot of three, and they were listed November twenty-second, and they sold December twenty-fourth for thirty dollars, thirty bucks plus shipping for those uh, three glasses, and uh, that's a beautiful thing. Next, what do we got? A book, the Aztec UFO incident, and this was purchased at the Goodwill for ninety-nine cents. I listed it December twenty-third, sold December twenty-fifth for twenty dollars plus shipping. Next, 
Butcher knife. Old. It's an old home. Old homestead butcher knife. And uh, that's eight inch blade. Yep. Yeah, uh, what I get for what I do here? I just got messed. I got a text message, and it it just messed me up. Okay. Ninety nine cents. Yeah, ninety nine cents. I paid for this. I listed it July seventeenth. Sold it. December 26th for 1599 plus shipping. Next. Right after Christmas. Somebody's still buying stuff. Avon Cape Cod candle holders. These I've I had these around for a while. How long how long were they listed? Uh oops. There goes my thing here. Is that that can't yep. Two bucks I paid for these. They they were they were listed March twenty first two thousand eighteen so they were around a long time. Yeah, this this stuff if you're gonna buy it you're gonna have to hold it a long time because there's a lot of it out there and uh, a lot of people sell it sell it's pretty cheap so if you want to get anything out of it you're gonna have to hold it. It's just that or or sell it cheap and move it on. If you get it for nothing, I paid two bucks and uh, I sold it December twenty sixth for fifteen bucks plus shipping. So. Next, a couple of golden shape children's books. You see these pretty regular all the time they're out there. I don't know why I got them or how I have them or what the deal is on them, but there they are. 32 cents I paid. I must have bought them in a bag lot. 32 cents I paid. Listed uh, August 27th, 2016. So they were up over five years, folks. They swell well, no, four years, over four years. They sold uh, December twenty seventh for eight bucks, eight dollars with free shipping, free shipping. So um, there you go. That's that, and they're out of here. And I'll never do that again, unless I get them for nothing. And there's ten of them, and I might do a lot, maybe. Land before time, eight. All these VHS tapes. I, I when I got these, I don't think I paid much of anything for them. Let me just look here. Um, no, nah, yeah, I paid nothing for them. So I think they just showed up somewhere along the lines. Maybe I got them in a in a free box somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, I listed these June thirteenth, two thousand sixteen, and honestly, I thought they would sell faster since I had so many of them. And I, you know, I bounced the prices all over the place and I did free shipping and all kinds of things trying to, trying to move them. And they just, they just wouldn't, they just wouldn't, they just wouldn't go, you know? And, and then of course they did finally sell December 27th. They sold for $9.99 uh, plus shipping, $9.99 plus shipping. And uh, I never again, they just took up so much room for sale. There were so many of them. They took a bit up a lot of room and, uh, yeah, that's just that's just one I'm just gonna have to avoid. Now you watch. As soon as I say that, they're gonna start selling like crazy, and uh, something will happen, and, and 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 I'll miss out on all the good sales on it. That'll be the way to work. Okay, next. This is just a chess piece that came out of a obviously an, an entire set, and uh, the thing is with the with this I mean they were really nice pieces. I mean they were just really good decent high quality pieces. But people were selling them the whole set. They were selling a whole lot of them for you know 15 20 dollars and they were just they're so nice I just couldn't do that. So I I I ended up parting my entire thing out and I've sold I've sold a few a few of the pieces now for uh, They've all sold for ten dollars a piece, but anyway, since I parted it all out, this piece only cost me sixteen cents, and uh, I listed it November seventh. It sold December twenty seventh for ten for ten bucks plus shipping. Ten bucks plus shipping on that, and uh, yeah, I was selling quite a few pieces of that. Um, I think I sold at least I don't know four or five pieces of it now. So yeah, I, if I sold four, it's forty bucks. You know, if I sold five, it's fifty, obviously, and uh, that's way more than selling selling the entire box for $15 or whatever they were selling for. So uh, I'm pretty happy with doing it that way. Next. I just, I do have to be patient. That's the whole thing. You do have to be patient and wait a lot of times that way because it's just the way it is. I'm pretty sure I haven't sold any pieces out of this for a while, so I'm probably getting undercut, uh, which I understand. Next. 
Clockwork Princess. This is just a, uh, it's, it's uh, the third book in like I think it was a trilogy, although it may be an ongoing series. Um, I paid a dollar for it. I listed it October twenty fifth, and it sold December twenty seventh for seven dollars. Seven dollars plus shipping, and I do believe I bought more than one of these. And the other one was damaged. I'm not, I hadn't. I didn't check it well enough when I bought it. I think I could have gotten more if I'd had another book. But uh, anyway, I'm happy with that. Next, Joanne Fluke murder mystery series. Uh, I'd never seen this before, uh, but I saw a lot of books like this and. Uh, they were a dollar a bag, so uh, this particular lot, yeah. So I paid a buck here for these. I actually, I probably got more more books in that bag, uh, but I just gave the entire cost of the whole bag to this lot, and uh, they I listed these December twenty third, and they sold December twenty eighth for twenty dollars plus shipping. So. Um, I, I just can't help it. I keep finding myself looking at books more and more and more because I keep I keep making money off of them. You know, as much as I didn't want to get back into selling books, it is something that I know something about, and uh, so it just makes sense to sell them. Next, I, I I did this. This listing was done when I was having a yard sale outside, like years ago. Um, let's see. Uh, Mountain, no, that's not it. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, Mountain Bluebirds collector plate. Let's see, I paid nothing for it. Pretty sure it came from a property I cleaned out. Anyway, I listed it July 13th, 2016. So there you go. I was having a yard sale that day, and uh, that's when I listed it. it. Was four and a half years ago. It sold December 28th for $16 plus shipping, and that's just the way it goes. I this may have been the last plate from that yard. I listed a bunch of stuff at that yard sale that day. Um, boy, it was hot too. It was just hotter than hot out that day. But anyway, so that's that. Okay, next. Millborns, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Millborns, uh, 99 cents I paid for this. I listed it December 29th, 2016. And, uh, I am not sure what what the deal was on it, why it took so long, but it sold December 28th, four years later, for $23 plus shipping. Uh, that was a, a, a fair price for it at the time. I think it still is. I've actually gotten more for that game than that. So, But it, it was odd that that one, that one just took so long. I, maybe there was... Oh, there might have been something wrong with the listing. I don't remember now, but um, yeah, so it's sold. Next, Master Detective. This was uh, is this? Yeah, this is a variation listing. So what sold? Do I have it here shown what sold? Um, no, something. Some of the pieces sold. I'm not sure what it was. Anyway, uh, I paid a quarter. I paid. I paid a buck for the whole game, and then I parted it out. So. Uh, yeah, so I paid a quarter and I listed it uh, December 31st. No, no, I listed it July 31st and it sold December 28th for what? $12.99. $13 plus shipping for whatever it was that sold. I I'm guessing it would have to be that the weapons must have sold for that. Or it could have been the little the pawns, it could have been the, the tokens. The little movers could be i don't remember now i usually try to remember to put that in the in the uh in the description there for what sold but i didn't next and this obviously is something else that sold from that same thing let's see um or did i just do this twice yep i did it twice so I did it twice, so it was must have been the cards that sold, but they they, they didn't sell for eight ninety nine. They sold for thirteen. So this is just an extra picture I had. So okay, cool. 
next. Wade figurine. This I had listed for a very long time. I don't know what I paid for it. But it's, uh, the listing date here is October 10th, 2015. Sold December 28th for 3 bucks plus shipping. And uh, I do not list Wade's any longer. But I suppose I would if I found something that was worth listing. Next. That wasn't so much. I sell them at the shop now, so I get 3 bucks a piece at the shop. So there's no point in putting money up on eBay. I have... I, there's a lot of things I sell over there that used I used to sell on eBay that I don't anymore because I can still get the price over there for them. And so it's better that way. Next. I do really good over there. I just what I what I do over there. I, I my booth I made what did I say it was I think it was seven let me look. Last year I made uh I was just working on stuff. I made well there's three three thousand made it like eight thousand dollars last year at the shop so that's pretty good that's just for just just for the stuff i sold that doesn't include the business aspect of it so um yeah there's so there's and uh i came in probably a distant fifth in sales so there was other people did a lot better than me in there so it is worth it all right so yeah this book uh this again came out of that bag lot 50 cents i paid for this and uh let's see Listed it December December 9th, sold December 28th for four bucks, four bucks plus shipping. Jane Fonda's Step Aerobic and Abdominal Work. It's VHS tape, videotape. Uh, 49 cents I paid at Goodwill. Listed it December 19th, sold December 29th for eleven dollars. Ten ninety nine plus shipping. Let's see if I can scroll this down. There we go. All right, next. This is a capacitor out of my my microwave with uh, the oh, the bracket or whatever that went to it. Uh, that this was the last piece. I'm pretty sure this is the last piece out of that microwave. So everything else now is um, it's all gone. Yeah, I, yeah, I sold all the pieces of my microwave. So we just got it. We got a new one. Everything was it was working fine. Uh, but we got a new one because the inside of it, the metal was peeling and it was nasty, nasty looking. So we just, we just got a new one and I, I parted this one out and sold all the parts. So I, what I sell, I sold the capacitor. I sold the, I sold the, uh, the board in behind the control panel board. I sold the cover for the control panel. I sold the, the, the plate, the, the, the rotary plate inside. I sold the, the, the thing underneath the rotary plate. I sold uh, a little round thing with wheels on it. Um, what else did I sell out of that thing? Oh, I sold the, uh, I don't know if you want it. Would, would you call it the motor? It's not the, it, it, it's like the motor. I can't think of what it's, I guess that's what it would be, kind of. And I, I may have, I'm not sure if I did or not. I think I took the piece off the under underside that controls the, that controls making the the plate spin around on the inside. I think I sold that. I think that's. I think that was it. I think it was everything. And then the rest of it I just gave to the scrapper kit. So off it went. All right. Uh, so what did I get for that anyway? Oh, where is it? Let's see. There it is. It was a West Bend microwave, and I listed it. Listed this January thirty first, two thousand nineteen. Sold December 29th for 10 bucks. I get 10 bucks for the capacitor plus shipping. So cool. Next. Another game piece out of that that uh, chess set that I was telling you about. Again, 16 cents I paid. Listed it November 7th. Sold December 29th for $10 plus shipping. Next. This is an unopened. Is it just one pack? It's a 10 pack. Yeah, so there's ten discs in there. It's just, it's just one thing. And uh, let's see. No, it can't just be one. All right. Uh, okay. What I did here was I had okay. I had five of them available, so I paid six dollars and forty-five cents for five of these, of these ten packs. 
and when I listed them, the person who bought them bought they bought all five. Yeah, they bought all five. So uh, I paid six six dollars and forty five cents. I listed them December twenty sixth. They sold December thirtieth for forty five forty five bucks altogether. Forty five bucks plus shipping on those. So yeah, hooray! That was a happiness sort of kind of a day. I like that. All right, next. Rolling Rock. It's a beer can foam cozy. Can't think of what they're cozy. Is, it? Is that what it's called? Eh, anyway, holder. Whatever. I paid thirty nine cents. I listed it December twenty sixth. Sold December thirtieth for. Oh, that's is that right? Yeah, that's right. For ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine again plus shipping. Here's a little angel. She's cute. Uh, 79 cents I paid for that and let's see listed December 26th sold December 30th for $9.50 plus shipping next she's a little angel like all of you people who like to watch my videos you're all little angels to me all right there there it is like glass canning jar lid you knew one was coming one had to be coming yeah, I paid what I paid for this. I paid 39 cents for this one. I listed it December 23rd. It sold December 30th for $7.49 plus shipping. A couple more V.C. Andrews books. And again, for this lot, 50 cents. I listed December 9th. Sold December 30th for $9 plus shipping. Next. These are parts for a shark vacuum cleaner. I think I got them at the Goodwill. Didn't there was though, there's no vacuum. It was just parts. It was just accessories. So uh, yeah, um, a shark rocket hard floor attachment. I paid a buck for the whole lot. Listed November nineteenth, two thousand nineteen. Sold December thirty first for. What I get for that? Fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. Look at that. I got those dates wrong. The I got the year in there wrong. That's okay. Next. Hey, yeah, a little matchbox car. A little matchbox super fast. I paid nothing for that. I listed it November 9th. Sold December thirty first for seven dollars plus shipping. I wonder where I got that, that I paid nothing for that. It's really cool. And another can of jar lid. 39 cents. Listed December 23rd. Sold December 31st for $7.49 plus shipping. Next. Tale of Two Cities. This is an international collector's library. These do pretty well. I mean, especially if you have a lot of them, you could actually... You could actually sell them in one in one lot for quite quite, quite a lot, but I sold it. I sold mine this one here uh, for more than I was quite happy with that. It came in a bag lot of books um, that I actually paid a dollar for, so I, I paid about ten cents for this. And uh, I listed it December eleventh, sold December thirty first for eighteen ninety nine plus shipping. Next books books books. Barbie. Fashionistas. I do have to. I do have to thank Sabrina. Sabrina. Uh, something. S Sabrina's world of something. I don't know. Whatever she talks about Barbie dolls quite a lot. Uh, seems like a nice young kid, and uh, lots of lots and lots and lots of of knowledge about Barbie dolls. So. Um, I did sell her, but I, I did sell this doll. I sold her nude. Um, sorry, that's just... Yeah, I did. Um, I didn't pay anything for her. I wonder where she came from. Uh, I listed her December 26th. Sold December 31st for $9 plus shipping. And next. This is the last thing that was sold on eBay, but I have a few sales from Mercari to show you. I, I had this in a this was in a uh, in a haul video that I did I think or maybe that might have been a long time ago let's see when did I list this no this is this was more recent this was purchased more recent 
than the other haul video one. So anyway, 42 cents I paid for this. Uh, must have got it in a bag lot, probably at the niche, I'm thinking. 42 cents I paid, and I listed it August 16th. Sold December 31st for $9. The f I've sold three of these now. The very first one I sold, I sold some well, it's quite a few years ago now, and I got $30 for it. Um, the Seahawks were really popular for some reason a few years back, and it, it, it sold for 30 bucks. but I don't know what that deal was, but... Um, then I had another one, and it sold as well, but I think I only got like 10 for that one. But yeah, so so $8.99 plus shipping, though. I'm good with that. So, all right, next. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. What, what are we doing here? Something's wrong with the pictures. Oops. Hold on a minute. All right. Well, this there we go. This sold on Mercari. Uh, it's a, a pair of Pyrex little uh, refrigerator dishes. They were pretty rough. They, they were kind of rough, but uh, I listed them anyway because Pyrex is pretty high. I paid two bucks for the pair. I listed them August 29th, 2017. So they've been up for three years. They sold December 28th for $18 on Mercari plus shipping. So, next. I'm losing my voice here. Uh, Singer sewing machine part here that this sold on Mercari as well. I got, uh, what I get? I got 12 bucks for this. It, it was listed, this was listed for uh, almost a year. Yeah. Well, actually, over a, over a year. Yeah, it was listed January 26, 2019. I paid 33 cents for it. It sold December 29th of this of 2020. So yeah, almost two years it was listed. 12 bucks. Next, and a Pyrex bowl. I was just about to take this down off of eBay, off the internet, and take it over to the shop, and it sold. So I paid a buck for it. I listed it December September 5th, 2017. It sold December 30th. For $19 on Mercari so now that's it that's everything that I sold I know this has been a long video if you stuck with it you deserve a pat on the back a cookie and congratulations uh, altogether I paid $39.46 for everything that I sold and total sales for the final week of December was five hundred and sixty four dollars and ninety five cents I had no returns no refunds no non-paying bidders none of that stuff so that's it five hundred and sixty four ninety five and uh, it, it was a good it was a good uh, a good way to finish off the year for me so thank you very much for watching take care have a great day and keep listening bye bye